All right, I'm really not sure that I like this. Ooh, let's turn some lights on. Let's take you off the tripod, or do we want you on the tripod? Let's have you on the tripod. Tell me if I'm more blue than usual, my face looking. Yeah, so that's it back there. It looks, uh, I, I feel like I should have went with the darker color that I used in my office. It, it looks much better compared to uh, or in contrast next to the blue. But one of the ideas was because my apartment was so yellow that this will give me better lighting. Like it made my face look orange and everything and at least I'll stand out in this. But I guess on camera it doesn't look as blue as it does in real life. Let's, let's turn on some more lights. Yeah, I don't know. I might redo everything. What do you guys think? Should I redo everything the same color as my office? Uh, we'll, we'll think about it. Let's look at the front room that I did. Can you tell the difference between colors? You can kind of tell the difference in there, but I think it would look better a darker color. But one of the reasons I went with the lighter color is because the darker color made my office look so dark. It really darkened up everything. Like these lighter colors will make the room look more open and everything. So, and also if I went with the too dark a color, like I want to paint all the cabinets and everything a dark color. So I still don't know what to do with this. If I'm painting this gray, this color, or if I'm painting it blue, that color. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know down below. And yeah, this is the office colors that I was telling you. So guys, there's so much tile work done. Uh, it should be finished. I want to say they'll probably finish this room uh, tomorrow, I guess. Maybe like two, three more days of work. Uh, they've been working on it for three days already. Uh, so kitchen is all done. Living room is all done. It looks very yellow in this camera, but it's really not, I promise. Uh, it's more of a gray color. Maybe I can change my white balance real quick. Yeah, let me be right back. Yeah, I think this is probably okay. Uh, 4,500 instead of 5,000 uh, for the Kelvins. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm looking, like when I look right here, or let me, let me show you, no, 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 we're talking about this. When I look right here, the pink colors kind of look okay. And I'm like, uh, should I change it? Should I not? Uh, I already bought five gallons of the paint that we used in my office to redo all of this stuff with. So, uh, so the paint's definitely going to be changed. But yeah, all this is done. Kitchen, living room, all done. The laundry room done. Bathroom still has to be done because, oh, we sneak peeking a little. Bathroom's getting different tiles. Uh, and then my office is done. So office and my office closet is done you can zoom in on this baby look at that look at that uh, let me change my white balance again can we do it while we're recording uh yeah that's probably okay at 5,000. it's just because the see there's only daylight in this room i don't have any lights on so 5,000 is good but in here is yellow because we, these lights just love being yellow especially that one if you were here in real life, you'd be amazed. More amazed than me on, on camera life. But all right, all right, so what still has to be done here, uh, I didn't mention it, but the grout has to be done still. So it's not, uh, the grout's not filled in yet. So uh, that needs to be done as well. So maybe three, three to four days. Pretty much they did all this room in one day they did all this room in one day, and this was just the guy doing it by himself. Just one guy did all this in one day. Uh, so all, all this in one day. And then all of this they did in one day, it was two guys. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they'll crank out this in one day, this room here. Uh, but we're still doing the backsplash too. I'm talking way too long uh, for this video, but uh, it's coming together. This, this is like where everything starts coming together real quick. There's a big lull, me waiting around for dates and deadlines, or not deadlines, waiting for people to have time, but all right, I'm gonna take a nap and then uh, paint this room so that they can put the washer and dryer back in. All right, 9.35 p.m. I got, well, 
I, did I show you guys yet? I got that uh, chalkboard thing taken down. Uh, I got this changed, color changed. Uh, this wall's color is changed. Uh, I don't know how much you can tell difference on camera. Uh, here, I'll show you. Uh, right up here is the color difference between the new and old paint. So uh, definitely, ooh, are we focused? We better be. Definitely a much needed change that I like because uh, I definitely like it a lot more. We got this painted in here and the laundry room is all painted. We just got to finish the, uh, we got to paint the molding still. Uh, but then we can have our washer and dryer put back in and go inside and take a long nap. Not in the washer and dryer, of course. You don't nap in a washer and dryer. Man, I really love this color gray. It's something that uh, that I, I it, it, it was only available in the dreams that I had when I took the drugs when I was young. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? And yeah, I was concerned about the, oh, I'll show you out there, it's a better example, but I was concerned about this being so different than the rest of this, but uh, it's it's okay. It, it, I don't think it's gonna be as standouty or weird as I've been thinking. Uh, yeah, it would kind of look like that. I guess it does stand out, but whatever. It, it's okay, because I'm not replacing all this marble or granite or whatever it is <laughs> no way daily update nightly update check in time i didn't really do anything compared to the last time that i checked in yesterday but the guys finished all the tile uh well at least all the wood grain tile the bathroom i'll show you still has to get done but the room that's going to be my gym all done in here and this is going to get covered with uh gym flooring floor mat anyway uh, at least up to whoop, up to around here in probably but all this is done looking fantastic and then I just finished up the laundry room uh, that's all that I did tonight all that I uh, did here but it's all done I'm thinking like my original plan was to not do the uh, not put put these doors back on the like sliding folding doors but uh, maybe I will if it fits, who knows. But ooh, so, so nice and elegant now with these new colors. And I painted uh, the trim here. I should have been more careful to not mess up the trim. Like, uh, where's a good example? I guess here you can see it, uh, how I I wasn't careful. And I, I was like, all right, I'll, I can get paint on here because I'll just paint over it. Well, it's not that easy to paint over. It takes like multiple coats for whatever reason. So uh, can we see it here? Where, where's a good spot? Uh, I guess maybe right here you can see it. Uh, it kind of still bleeds through and that's uh, after a couple coats. So it's painting trim is always a gigantic pain in the butt, but uh, I'm going to enlist my neighbor to help me with the rest of the trim, but coming together, the guys should finish the bathroom uh, tomorrow, I think, uh, and then grout everything else. And oh, they also have to do the backsplash here. Uh, we were going to, I was going to paint behind here while they have the refrigerator out because they had to lay tile underneath it, but I'm undecided what color paint I'm going to do for all up here and this here i don't know if i'm going to do this gray or this blue yet depends on uh, i might even do that last uh to i might paint the cabinets first before i do all that stuff but oh so close yet so far there's still a lot of work to be done you know mostly painting and uh, still a lot of work to be done okay let's uh let's give you saturday's update uh, so the guy wasn't supposed to be here on Saturday, today's Saturday, but uh, I guess his other job got canceled or whatever, so he came down to finish the bathroom, which I'll show you last. But in here, this room, come on, switch, I painted uh, these walls, which were, well, were originally the lighter color. Remember I was telling you guys, I don't remember what I tell you guys anymore. I painted these walls 
in here to the gray color that I like more. But now, like I was doing it in the early morning and the sun was shining through these windows and it was so peaceful in here uh, with the old color that I think my new plan is to paint these to the old lighter color, just these two walls. I'm going to see what it looks like tomorrow morning because maybe I like this just as much. I don't know. But new plan is to paint these two walls that color and then do this, all this in gray. And then this beam thing is going to be in the same color, this gray. And this will be like a keystone thing, a keystone. This will be like the meeting of the colors because it'll be the lighter uh, gray color, the darker gray color and then the blue color right here. So that'll be interesting and cool. I finished up, uh, well, I didn't finish up, but I did a lot more painting in here as well today. I got like just mostly all the trim stuff done, uh, surrounding edges, parts uh, today. And uh, right here, inside of there. So did all that today. All the trim around here is all done and up here is all done as well. And inside of here is done. Uh, I still have to do in here, uh, but I got this one border done. So that's good. Uh, that was taped off and painted nicely. Bathroom is the last pit stop. So my washing machine is sitting just in here because I was telling, I don't know if I showed you guys my beautiful laundry room uh freshly painted freshly freshly looking fresh uh i wanted to put everything back the washer and the dryer uh so we started moving everything back and then I'm like oh what are we doing we're being idiots because we didn't grout the tile yet so we can't put this stuff back in and don't look in the bathroom and then now this room i don't know if i can sneak through here yeah, so my office is done-ish, done-ish. We still have to do the trim and uh, the rest of this. Uh, I think I'm just painting, gonna paint this stuff white because I think this is gonna be nice as a like soft box if I have white surrounding the whole edges of it, the inside. So I might just leave that white, but all this stuff is done. We still have to do the paint the trim white uh, oh, the door has to be painted as well. Uh, is it? No, that's a bathroom door. But that door has to be painted well. But yeah, just the trim pretty much uh, is done in here. Needs to be done in here. Uh, the closet's going to stay white like this. It's so that. All right, now the coupe de gras, the bathroom du jour. Let's get you a little, a little light in here. Very first thing I want to point you guys to Where's the toilet? Ah, oh, the toilet's gone. But uh, there it is. But yeah, all the bathroom tile is laid. So it's probably dry enough now to walk on because it is uh, nine o'clock at night. But yeah, we just got to do all the grout for this, uh, which will happen Monday afternoon, he said. He'll come down, not Monday morning, but Monday afternoon. And then he's going to do all the uh, trim shoe molding stuff too but uh we only have this much painted so far but yep all good and he was saying i mean but the way you tell is uh if it's dry is to knock on the tile and if it gives you like a solid sound like that uh then it's good to walk on but if it gives you like a hollow sound then it's not dry yet i tested that like previously and you can definitely tell when it's hollow and not dry, but I guess, yeah, we can walk on it. I, I'm going to walk on it. I can probably take all these things out for him too, but, uh, whew. all right. That's, uh, it's an update. Okay. Everyone, here's your Sunday night update. I changed the color on these two walls. Like I said, I would, uh, I just finished touching up the tops here. So some of it, uh, right there, you can see it's a little bit lighter still, but, uh, this wall, we'll pull off that tape. I'll show you, uh, in a second, but yeah, uh, I still have to do all the trim in here. Uh, it's such a pain in the butt to do, but 
I don't remember if I had told you I missed doing all this. Uh, but when we get the gray paint out, I still have to put a second coat on this wall anyway. When we get the gray paint out, we'll do that. Bathroom. Bathroom is the biggest change. I'm not finished with it. Kind of tired. But. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. So I did the bathroom in the same color as those two walls we just saw. Uh, which is a little bit lighter than this color in here. Uh, wow. So there's still some stuff left to do. Let me go back to a corner. Let me go in the closet. There's still some stuff to do, obviously. All the spots that's not this grayish blue color. But we got a lot done. And I know I said I was going to be focusing on one room at a time, but... That just became like kind of hard because then I'd be switching up paint colors all the time. So I ended up just focusing on one paint color at a time until I got tired. But my office is done. It's not going to be so bright in here. I don't know if I said already, but the office is done other than the white. Oh, I guess I might be doing blue or gray on the inside of the windows. I'm not 100% sure yet, but office is done. Let's go pull that tape off and then... I can go eat a little snacky and uh, and a little drinky and and a nappy, a sleepy. All right. Yep. There's the uh, there's a nice clean edged wall, the different colors. I don't know what I want to work on next. If I, I guess I can't really start working on my office next, like putting the desks together and getting everything ready in the office because and moving all my computers downstairs and all that stuff. I think next, after these guys are done with tile, which is still a lot of tile work to be done, the grout and the backsplash there. Uh, I think after all that's done is call the electrician and work out a plan with him on what to do about all the lighting. Because it's gonna be kind of stupid to set up all my desks and everything in here, set up my computers, and then them just have to cut holes in the ceiling and drop a ton of dust down on them to install all the lights. I mean, I can just put plastic over all my computers and that'd be fine. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If if the guy who's doing the electrical work, if he's not free for like a month, like say he can only come out and do the estimate and then it's like another month until he can actually come out and do the actual work, uh, then it would probably make sense to start throwing the computers down here, uh, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm.